626, westbound, all lanes are shut down at Brookhurst, and in South Central, east 105, three right lanes blocked off between the Harbor Freeway and Central. Once again, it's KLAU News Time, 627. <laughs> Stay close, right side. All right, officer, I thought I went through before the light went red. License and registration. It's in my jacket. Mind if I reach for it? Must be in my bag. Pass it to the window. I'll find your wallet. Oh. My name is Dr. Ben Turner. I'm a physician at Angels of Mercy Hospital. I promise you the only thing in that bag are my dirty clothes and my wallet. Hey, Doc, pass it to the window or step out searching on the hood. But if you put your hand inside that bag, you will find my gun next to your head. I'll search it on the hood. Reaching for the bag. Not here. Probably left it in my locker at the hospital. I just finished working 36 hours straight up, and I probably left it behind. Tipperary's got it registered to a Davenport Corporation? It's the leasing company. It's a new lease. Spread your legs. Hands on the hood. Scotty, check the car. This is ridiculous. What did I do? No plates. No license. No registration. I have all those things, just not in the car with me. Hey, is that necessary? Curious, Leroy, what is the learning curve with you? It's gonna take a couple of broken ribs to shut you up, or are you the baton to the forehead? I want your name, I want your badge number. Hey! Ah! Stay down! Ah! Get, come on, stay down! Listen to me, boy. The name, since you asked, is Eugene Ellie. Badge number 155. Five. 155. Can you remember that? Hmm? Scotty! Get over here. Keep an eye on our chatty friend, will you? Might take a while to check her back. A lot of sneaky place to smuggle dope in these fresh new rides. Man, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You ought to shut up. Jim, but he left his wallet and needs it immediately. No problem. Got it. Sorry again.
Nice buns, doctor. Name Sergeant Barnes, 17. Gunshot wounds to the right flank, through and through. Easy, man. So my count. One, two, three. Ah! Shot close range with a 22. Nothing. I didn't do nothing. That's plenty. I bitch shot me in the back. Maybe it had something to do with you walking out of a store with a stolen 40. Well, I ain't steal nothing. Let's take it easy, ma'am, or I can't do my examination. Oh, oh. bitch got a happy trigger finger. And I swear to God, before the end of the day, I'm gonna get shot. Oh. Ah! BP 114 over 78, pulse 96. Miss Barnes, Miss Barnes, if I can't do this examination, I have to send you to surgery for an exploratory operation. That will keep you in the hospital for a week when you could go home tomorrow. Do you want that? No. Then calm down. Does that hurt? It don't feel good. How about here? It's okay. Thank you. Sit tight. It's a story, Doc. Uh, we'll admit her for the next 24 hours, but initially, I don't think she's gonna need any surgery. Excuse me, Doc. Even if it oh, can you order a chest film and an abdominal CT? John's gonna take care of it. I've gotta go meet my father. Say hello for me if we'll hear it. Well, I went. We got a skirmish at the grocery where she got shot. Gary, let's roll. Stay on your toes, Doc. I think we'll be back. What you looking at? Are you ready? Hey, nurse. Bombs need kissing, too. Find one without a cough and we'll talk. <coughs> nice folks. You get used to it. Have you got your forms? Standard employee physical. Mm -hmm. uh, this doctor I'm seeing, what's his name? Ted Isaacson. You know him well? Mm, our paths don't cross, but he's got a good reputation. Good, good. I doubt I have to bring this up, given the length of our conversation on the matter, but he is a white man, correct, Grace? He wanted a white doctor. I got you a white doctor. Thank you. I mean, it is my right to trust my health to the doctor I'm most comfortable with. One fight was enough for now, Daddy, OK? Clinic's this way. So dirty. It's nice to see you too. Looks like you've been rolling around in mud. And look at your face. Ben, what happened? Lillian, I got arrested. And what? They rubbed dirt on you? In a fashion. Did they put you on the ground? Can we just go? Ben, I want to know. Did you get beat up this morning? Lillian, drop it. What are their names? The officers who arrested you? Hey. The past two and a half days, I slept a total of three hours, two of them in a holding tank. Now I gotta be back at the hospital in a little while, and I'd very much like to leave right now. Excuse me, who is the commanding officer of this division? Captain Joe Santini, and that's his pretty face. Is he in? Lillian, please. No, ma'am, but if you'd like to leave a message, I'll be happy to pass it on. Tell Captain Santini he can expect a call from Ed O'Malley, the chairman of the County Board of Supervisors regarding an incident of police brutality in this division. For God's sake, Lillian. When the captain comes in, I'll be sure he sits by the phone. You think this is funny? No, you've got him shaking in his boots. Now let's go. Officer Harvell. Got your name. First name's Clyde. All right, maybe yelling at the desk sergeant wasn't productive, but I couldn't just walk out of there pretending nothing happened, and I don't know how you could. It's called practicing self-control. There's a time for that, and then there's a time to be rightfully pissed off. And I wasn't. I was furious in there. I'm still furious. So you rushed me out. Why? So we could get to filing a lawsuit? Maybe I figured it, I, if I wanted to yell at a brick wall, I'd do it myself. I don't need you standing up for me. Mm -hmm. Just back up off me. I still want to call Ed O'Malley. Don't. 
You'd rather sit on your hands when a phone call could have that cop's badge? Well, then all I ask you to do is bring me my wallet. Maybe I'll take some action, maybe I won't. Either way, it's my decision. You don't owe me just because we're back in the sack. You've had a long morning. I'll let that slide for now. Oh, my God. <sighs> Would you look at that? Still don't want me to call Ed O'Malley? Stay out of it, Lily. Please. Jerry, one of me and Ron. Mr. Chairman. Uh, what, what, what's going on? Okay, settle. Uh, smile, Ron. Uh, good, Jerry. Uh, give us a minute. I'm holding a press conference in 10 minutes to announce an allocation of $20 million for Angels of Mercy. That's wonderful, Ed. Yeah, yeah. The supervisors, they fought me like hell, but there was a Department of Health accounting oversight, or so I convinced them, so congratulations. Many thanks, Ed. Any stipulation as to how it's spent? I'm sure you have a wish list as long as you are armed, but spend it well. Make it good for both of us. I will do so. I'm late. You care to join us uh, in front of the cameras? Of course you will. Lillian, wonderful to see you. Jerry, get in here. Uh, I've got to run, but Ron will fill you in on the good news. One of the three of us. By the way, I got your message this morning. I made a call. Thank you, Ed. Very unfortunate business. Hmm. Smile. Ron, ten minutes out front. Good day, William. What's going on? Walk with me. You realize we could spend this in a day on capital equipment alone. I do, Lillian. We need to raise the FTEs for occupied bed. The director of nursing position is still vacant. And we desperately need clergy. We got another patient complaint. And wonderful as he is, Father Carrillo just isn't a Hindu. I'd like to convene the director's advisory group and the executive committee this afternoon. Will you have time before then to hunt down your department heads and put together their wish list? Mm, I've had a wish list since Jacob, but I'll go through the departments and revise if need be. Was there any stipulations on spending the money? Use our best judgment. <sighs> Gotta go. Family Medicine Clinic. Wonderful. Nice to have you back in the saddle. It's nice to be back. But this, it's wonderful. <laughs> To this afternoon, Lillian. Mr. Patterson? I'm Dr. Lillian Price. Dr. Isaacson came down with the flu this morning, so I'll be doing your physical. Uh, uh no, no, we, well, we, we can't do that. I, I've set up a specific appointment for Dr. Isaacson. If there were any special instructions for Dr. Isaacson, I'd be happy to carry them out. Uh, it's more a matter of personal preference. You, you see, my daughter set up the appointment with certain specifications. Uh, you, you may know my daughter. She's an emergency room nurse here. Grace Patterson. Of course. Your daughter's the best. Thanks. Do you think you could tell me the specifications, Mr. Patterson? I'd prefer a um, male doctor. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Dr. Pendle is on the schedule. Let me see if I can trade him a case. Um, re regarding Dr. Pendle, um, is he black or white? He's black. And, and I'm sure he's a fine physician. I'm being perfectly honest now. I prefer a male doctor who is um, white. OK. Um, that may be a little tougher to arrange. Oh, oh I understand. But. Not impossible. Let me see who's available. Thank you. Mr. Patterson? You know, when I was growing up, my father had a friend who also wouldn't see a black doctor. He said that black doctors weren't as good as whites because they didn't get as good an education, which, of course, is totally untrue. I'm curious. Could you give me a little more insight? That's the way I was brought up. And that's just the kind of doctor I'm accustomed to. I hear it. 
but I still don't get it. White male and available appears to be a tall order at the moment. Mm, I am really embarrassed, Dr. Price. It's all right, Grace. There's a lot of things about my father I couldn't explain in a million years. I don't know him, but the only one on this list I'm sure is white and male is Max Fleischman. Hmm. We'll have to call him in. It may take a while. I'll explain it. Okay. If you're going to be around, you might want to get a CBC, creatinine, chemistries, and a PSA. Well, I'm due back, but I'll get it taken care of. Okay, I've got to run, too. The county coughed up $20 million for the hospital, and I've got four hours to spend it. Well, I've got some ideas there. Hmm. Write them down. Aren't I a little young to be director of nursing? You've been OR supervisor for five years with an impeccable track record, and you're an associate professor at USC Nursing School. That's impressive, regardless of age. And really, if age was a hiring criterion, I wouldn't be standing here. I'm flattered. Oh, our friend Dad. I'd love the position. I'll be in touch with you regarding your appointment. Before you go, I assume there's a pay increase? Don't quote me, but, um... Before she retired, Dolores Richards was at the high end of the executive pay range. I try to get you the same. Oh my God, I could pay off my car, my visa. Oh my God. Thank you, Dr. Price. I better get back to work. Lynette, it's ER. Celia, girl, when did you hear the news I just got? Peeler. Just in time, Dr. Turner, three gunshots on the way, ETA five minutes. All right. Call the OR, tell Annette Peeler not to start any electric cases until she hears from me. She's holding two rooms already. Turner. Call again, see if any surgeons are free. Over there. Excuse there. me, are you Dr. Ben Turner? There. How can I help you? Commander Milton Archer, LAPD. Dr. Alvarez is on his way, and all available surgical and ER residents have been paged. Doctor, I'm here on behalf of the Los Angeles Police Department to apologize for the unfortunate misunderstanding this morning. Excuse me? I want to assure you the incident is being investigated and any damage to your vehicle or property will be fully reimbursed by the department. Take him up. Ed O'Malley, Cindy. I did speak with the chairman this morning. He mentioned the incident and how rightfully upset you were. And here you are to make it all better. To offer reimbursement and discuss the incident. Discuss the incident? Weiss, is that one ready to roll? I need to write our admitting orders. Now let's do it now. What are you going to discuss, Commander? Car theft, Doctor. It's an epidemic in this city. And when a driver is pulled over without plates, license, or registration, we have to investigate. Even when there's no probable cause for stopping? Take him up. Come on. I understand you were being written up for running a red light. It's yellow. And after I was stopped, I clearly identified myself as a physician at this hospital. Now, why wasn't that investigated? Along with why your Officer Elliot found it necessary to cuff me face down with his knee in my back, trying to shut me up by calling me Leroy. Did Officer James hear this? No, he didn't. No one did but me. Regardless, the charge will be added to the investigation. First ambulance in the parking lot. Excuse me now. I've got a job to do. Thanks for your time, Doctor. Again, the department is very sorry. Oh, and uh, just so you know, we're dropping the charge for running the red light. Wesley, I want you in the pit with Jackson. Weiss, Keisha, Tony, be ready to move on my direction. GSW to the thigh, stable vital. In the middle of the pit with Tony. Told you we'd be back. Any word. Good story here. Riot started over the shoplifter who brought in shot this morning. His mother's the one who shot the girl. The crowd gathered, started throwing rocks. Then somebody shot out one of the windows, and the Koreans took to the roof with an arsenal. Saw so couldn't put us down. Let's slow, Dad. Uh-uh. He's easy. He told the no job in there. Get them the opposite side of the room. Me speaking English, bitch. Get back on that girl. Stay there. You do speak English, right, yellow man? I speak in fine gorilla boy. Who you call a gorilla? You calm down. What worst guy? Your whole family gorilla thief. You, you, you mama? You ten baby. Hey, hey, hey. Get out of here. Get out of here. What's wrong with you? Get him. Don't talk to us, girlie. If he moves, he's transferred. Break it out, mother. Shut your mouth unless somebody asks you a direct question. Put him down. That goes for everybody in the room. Doctors, patients, cops, black, white, Korean, I don't care who you are. Everybody, shut your damn mouths! Until these patients are cleared.
Keisha. Yes, sir. He needs to be pre up But it can wait a few minutes. I'll get him settled, Dr. Turner. Can't we all just get along? Apparently not today. No, I'm just kidding. Is that beetle pulses? Patterson. No hernias, Doctor? Uh, uh, correct, Mr. Patterson. No hernias. Now, if you'd be so kind, remove your undershorts and lay on your side, buttocks outward. Um, Doctor, Doctor Fleischman, uh, uh, given that this is a, a simple routine physical, I prefer to skip that part of the exam. In, in, in fact, if you insist it be performed, I will not be able to continue with the physical. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll simply leave. Dr. Fleischman? Dr. Fleischman? On the table, Mr. Patterson. You tried to think pleasant thoughts. We're sorry it took so long, ma'am. We got real busy real fast. Just take a seat right there, and I'll be right back. <clears throat> Who is that? It's Max Fleischman. I wonder what he's doing here. He did my father's physical. You had Fleischman do his physical? Well, I've never met him before. He just fit the criteria. Which is what? It must be a Civil War vet? Wait, ma'am. You're kidding. That's a conversation for another time, Jeffrey. Dr. Fleischman? Oh, are you Nurse Grace Patterson? Yes. Uh, Dr. Max Fleischman. I'm delivering you this chart. I was performing your father's physical, but it was not completed, as your father would not submit to the rectal portion of the program. Uh, 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 and this is unfortunate due to the results of his PSA test. Um, I suggest that you pursue the matter with him personally. Doctor, is my father still here? Oh, after he refused the test, he left. Thank you, doctor. What's his level? Well, it doesn't necessarily mean prostate cancer. No, 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 not at all. PSA is just an indicator. <clears throat> there was always the possibility the sample got mixed up. I mean, you are dealing with Max Fleischman. He didn't draw the blood, Jeffrey. You have to talk to your dad, Grace. There's no way he'll talk to me. I could drag him here for a mandatory work physical. So what about Angela? He won't talk to her either. That woman, Mrs. Bailey, she... Cut her palm slicing an English muffin. She needs stitches. He's just gonna sit in his chair and read his paper and get sicker and sicker. What if I talk to him? Oh, Why not? I'm a doctor. I'm male. I'm white. Grace, what's the alternative? All set, Lillian? Am I ever. Let's do it. Oh, come on, come on. Wait a second. Yeah. Did you prepare your proposals for the OR renovations? No, I didn't. Why did you call Ed O'Malley? He needs to know what's going on out there. If he doesn't know, he can't do anything about it. Do you know what he did? He sent a PR cop to the ER to apologize. It accomplished nothing, Lillian. Just like you yelling at that cop at the police station accomplished nothing. I'm only trying to help. By doing exactly what I asked you not to. Lillian, you're up. It's tough enough without being made to feel like I need my mother to fight my battles. Lastly, our CT scanner has blown three x-ray tubes in the last 12 weeks. It's expensive, 
It's too slow for vascular imaging and it's useless for chest trauma, which we see more of than any hospital in the country. We need a modern on-site spiral CT, which at a million for the machine and half that for construction comes cheap. And radiology agrees. Fine, Lillian, fine. Thank you. Uh, before I go, this is a timeline I memo to all involved departments as to when to expect new equipment and implementation of new programs. Isn't this a little presumptuous, Lillian? I don't understand. You were told to put together a wish list, not implement programs. Well, all of this is pending approval, of course. But I was uh, using my best judgment, as it were. Seems it failed you. Those are good programs, but the chairman wants an improvement he can display to the voters and a new CT scanner. Doesn't qualify. Doesn't qualify. What does? An exterior elevator bank. The old ones are ugly and outdated. The chairman agrees. This is decided? It's functional, it's practical, and it blends beautifully into the existing architecture. <laughs> the old elevators work fine, Ron. We don't need new ones. We need the CT scanner. Pediatrics needs new ICU monitoring equipment, and nursing needs additional full-time equivalents. We have the lowest nursing hours per patient day of any teaching hospital in the state. It'll all be considered, Lillian. Yeah. Excuse me. Anything more, Dr. Price? Dr. Turner? What's going on? The cop got shot at the riot site. Someone drove by and pitched a brick through the store window, and the gunfire flared up again. 33-year-old policeman Eugene Elliott. Gunshot wound through and through the left popliteal fossa. No pulses below the knee. Motor's still intact, but his sensation's definitely decreased. Any fractures? X-ray showed a few bullet fragments. That's about it. Officer Elliott. Dr. Ben Turner. How you doing, Doc? Do you remember me? No. We met this morning, traffic stop. Face in the gutter, knee in the back. No. How's your leg feel? You tingling, numbness? I don't want you for my doctor. I want somebody else. I don't think you're gonna have much of a choice, officer. Answer me. Any numbness? Tingling? Yeah. Both. Now, who do I talk to around here to get another doctor? Officer, you have an injured artery in your leg. You need vascular surgery. At the moment, one of our vascular surgeons is operating, and he's not to be done in time to save your leg. And the other one is waiting trial on a hit and run. Now, I could transfer you to another hospital, which I would be happy to do. But the chances are you wouldn't make it a surgery in time to avoid amputation. So the third option is allow me to do your surgery. Yeah, and what are the chances that I wake up? Do you honestly think I would jeopardize my career for someone like you? Just do it. Unless they are one. Dr. Turner, mind if I tag along? Let's go. Officer James. Lynette, may I have the piece of sap in this vein? Nets. What is it, Wesley? I'm sorry, Dr. Turner, but this is the cop who arrested you this morning. 7 0 proline and Gerald Forceps? Yes, it is. So what? What for? Driving while black. Follow me, please. Your kid. It's true. Scissors. Was it bad? I was face down on the asphalt watching Officer Elliott here rip out my back seats. Hemoclip. You know, last year I was pulled over driving through Torrance. Another stitch? Never drive through Torrance. <laughs> <laughs> pulled over for nothing. Sat on the curb two hours. So drug sniffing dogs would go through my car and find nothing. I got pulled over five times in high school and never got sighted. I did get a broken rib one time when the cop harassed my girlfriend and I got mouthy. 
Did you sue? I was glad to get out alive, man. Cut, please. I've been pulled over three times myself. Same stories. I was with my two-year-old nephew, and I got pulled over for rolling a stop sign. They had me handcuffed on the curb in the middle of a shopping area while four cops ripped out my front and back seats. I sat there three hours. People walking by, staring at me. My little nephew watching from the back seat of a black and white. I didn't find any kind of drugs. Didn't offer to pay for the seats or say where I could file a claim. Then they gave me a damn ticket. Worst day of my life. So excuse me, Dr. Turner, but up yours, Officer Elliot. Amen. Ditto. Looks good. Wesley, close him up. You bet. Three old Vico and a debakey. Let's have some music. Something appropriate. of the money, and he used it to humiliate me in front of the executive and administrative department heads. I warned you about him your first day on the job. I wasn't kidding. Look, I don't care about being humiliated, but nursing FTEs are more important than an elevator. So what do you want me to do about it? Call him and tell him to get his priorities straight. I have a county to run. I'll do you a favor every once in a while, but I don't have time to fight every little war that you get yourself into. Ed, it's not about me. It's about raising angels of mercy up to minimum standards of care. I can't do it alone. Lillian, learn how to fight your own battles. Learn how to make your enemies your friends. And don't come running to daddy every time that you get a bloody nose. Now, if you will excuse me, dear, I'm a busy man. <laughs> Patterson. I told Grace I wouldn't let you in, and I'm not going to. Go home, Jeffrey. Mr. Patterson, your PSA level doesn't necessarily mean cancer. Go home. If you tell me what you're afraid of, I think I can help you. Or if you'd rather, I know an excellent urologist. Why on earth would I confide in you or your friend? Well, we're both white male doctors, just your type, right? Your PSA level only indicates the possibility of an abnormality in the prostate, but without the rectal exam, you'll never know for sure. I guess we'll never know. But even if there is an abnormality in the gland, given your PSA, the chances it's metastasized are highly unlikely. But regardless, it means surgery. If it's abnormal and a biopsy shows a tumor, then most likely, yes, you will need surgery. Are, are you afraid of impotence? You keep your damn voice down. Again, given your PSA and the likelihood that any tumor would be contained, your post-surgical potency statistics are above 80%. Leaving 20% out in the cold. I don't think so, doctor. Mr. Patterson, you've gone from a high PSA to impotence without even having the rectal exam. Don't you think you're getting a little ahead of yourself here? Well, I won't have surgery, so there's no reason to have the exam. Would you rather know what's going on than spend your life worrying? If I won't have the surgery, what's the difference? <sighs> you have a wife and daughter who are worried to tears. Look, my family... It's my concern. And you show it by sticking your head in the sand? That doesn't show concern to me. Don't you disrespect now, me. I'm telling it like it is. Your family loves you, all right? I wouldn't be here if they didn't. But if you're too much of a coward to face the truth, then, then, Mr. Patterson, I wouldn't worry too much about any surgery making you impotent, because you already are. It's cold out here. Hello, Jeffrey. Miss Patterson. Have you had your dinner? Jeffrey was just leaving. Actually, Mrs. Patterson, I haven't had a bite since 7 o'clock this morning. I'll set an extra place. Thank you. Thank you. 
meatloaf again. <laughs> String beans. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious as always. Um. You mentioned a urologist. You didn't mention a name. Fred Heller. Grace, um, if you could make me an appointment as soon as possible, I'd appreciate it. Mm-hmm. You excuse me. Jeffrey. I still can't get past the irony that he trusts me with his health and not with his daughter. Well, maybe that'll change. Oh, yeah, maybe this broke the ice. I know it did. This was huge. You've got a lot of guts, Jeffrey. Yeah, well, I do when I'm motivated. First ICU day for police officer Eugene Elliott. Gunshot wound to the left thigh with popliteal artery injury repaired with saphenous interposition graft. Vitals are stable. Dressing is dry. Drains have minimal output and strong distal pulses. Excellent, Dr. Williams. What's all that mean? We'll be off in a few weeks, but it should heal fine. Great. Check back tomorrow. Let's move on. Hey, Doc, you got a second? <clears throat> I appreciate what you did. Uh-huh. And about what happened this morning, I was just doing my job. That was your job. Handcuff a black man face down in the gutter with your knee in their back for running a yellow light. That's your job. It was red. And how am I supposed to know that you didn't have a gun in your bag or drugs in the car when nine times out of ten, I will find both? I'll catch up. Go. I gotta protect myself. How do I protect myself from you? How do innocent people protect themselves from your stupidity? Wait a minute, Doc. Have you been outside lately? Huh? You got brown shooting black, black against Korean. It's a war out there. So, this morning, that's the price for being black in the city. There are kids who don't care about making it to 21, taking pot shots at cops with four kids. So excuse me if I'd rather piss off the occasional brother than wind up with a bullet in my chest. Officer Elliot, I have a lot of sick patients, and I've got no time to waste listening to your lame excuses. I know there's a war going on out there. I see the same horrible things in here you see out there day after day. The differences? The differences in my world, you're not a color. You're a human being. The difference in my world is even a racist like you never has to worry about being face down with a knee in his back. Yeah. Well, it sure feels like you got your knee in my back right now, Doc. And don't tell me that you're not liking it. You 
any problems with your leg tonight. Don't call for Doc or Leroy. Call for Dr. Benjamin Turner. And I will come a running. you saved that cop's leg. Yeah. Then I gave him the racism 101 lecture. I don't think he heard a word I said. Maybe why I spend my days and nights in this place is inside these walls, when I'm black, white, just a man. I do my job. I earn my respect. I go outside this place and it doesn't mean a damn thing. Hurts. I know. Maybe you're right, Lillian. Just come out swinging, kick ass, take no prisoners. That's my right. But if your right is different, it doesn't make it less right. You've been reading your Freud? No. I just don't want to lose everything that's important to me in the name of being right. It's okay. Forget it. If I forget it, I only do it again. And that's how I lost you the first time. Isn't it? Should we get out of here? Get some dinner. Driving. Yeah, that's funny. 